Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, March 14th, 2014, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Well, today, the Russians reported that they intercepted a U.S. surveillance drone flying over Crimea. Now, uh, according to a Russian state arms and technology group, they were able to technologically hijack this drone using complex radio electronic technology. The drone was flying at about 12,000 feet, and it was virtually invisible from the ground. Um, but the Russian technology was able to break the link with U.S. operators. Now, according to the company who manufactured the equipment that was used to take down the aircraft, the drone fell almost completely intact into the hands of self-defense forces. They said, judging by its identification number, it belonged to the 66th American Reconnaissance Brigade that was based in Bavaria. Now, this is after unknown hackers took down the Kremlin website. The Kremlin just reported today that their website was taken down, as well as the central bank's website taken down by hackers. So, hmm, I wonder who is sophisticated enough and who has the most sophisticated hackers in the world who would have the agenda to hack into these websites and put surveillance drones over their airspace. But unfortunately, this is going to be seen as an act of aggression, an act of war. Older Russians will probably remember the case of the U-2 surveillance drone that was shot down over Soviet airspace in 1962. This was an unfortunate thing. It was a huge embarrassment for the United States. They lied about being there, and that completely wrecked a planned summit where the Soviets and the West were supposed to meet for the first time in five years and have peaceful talks. Of course, that didn't happen, and it's probably going to have the same sort of ill effect on this referendum that Putin is supposed to be deciding upon this weekend or else. John Kerry has given Russia until Monday to reverse course on the Ukraine. That remains to be seen, of course. Kerry is saying that they uh, broke international law by invading the Ukraine, but Ron Paul disagrees. He says that Russia's uh, Crimea invasion actually has the law on its side. And they say everything that Putin does is illegal. He's no angel. But actually, he has some law on his side. They, they have a, contracts and agreements and treaties for a naval base there and a the permission to go by that, that, uh, that area. You know, it, it reminds me a little bit about what would happen if all of a sudden they said that the Americans are occupying Guantanamo illegally. And well, that we Paul, just invaded, we just invaded Guantanamo. So, you know, it, it's, it's such a facade in hiding well, think, the truth. So Kerry has delivered an ultimatum. And of course, this could escalate very quickly. And now the U.S. is having to prepare for retaliation from Russia. That's right. As if our current economy wasn't fragile enough, now the words economic cold war are being tossed around. The U.S. is threatening Russia with sanctions. And of course, Russia says it will retaliate. John Kerry said in congressional testimony this week, I don't want to go into all the detail except to say this, it can get ugly fast if the wrong choices are made and it can get ugly in multiple directions. So fantastic. They're planning for aggression, retaliation, sanctions. And meanwhile, Obama's latest executive order gives him the authority to seize the assets of any U.S. citizen who undermines U.S. involvement in the Ukraine. Wow. So <laughs> they're now going to seize your assets if you're a journalist like myself who disagrees with what the U.S. is doing. But let's talk about what the EU is doing there. Now, Bill Cash, he's a member of the British Parliament. He's criticized the EU and its Eastern Partnership and Association Agreement for the role that it's played in this current crisis in the Ukraine. And he's saying that the EU must recognize that it bears a disproportionate degree of responsibility for the crisis, which could have been avoided. Now, he also notes that Crimea has been and remains a vital national security and defense interest for Russia, including the Black Sea and its fleet for centuries. Now, a post on the Eastern Partnership Civil Society Forum states that many participants of the EP Civil Society have been active in various sectors of the Euromaidan movement. This is just documenting even further how the NGO participated in the coup. And of course, it provides additional detail on how the EU along with the United States, have been working behind the scenes to provoke this violent coup in the Ukraine and install a government that's going to be compliant to Wall Street, the financial cartel, and any central bankers who are running the European Union. We've been telling you that here as well. But 
Obama wasn't planning on seizing the assets of any people who are actually undermining the democratic processes in the Ukraine. They <laughs> were backing it, working behind the scenes the entire time. But hey, you know, if there is going to be the threat of a new Cold War and a Russian invasion, at least here in America we can count on our Second Amendment and the right to bear arms. Hmm. Well, not if the U.N. has their way. They're once again pushing back and saying that they'd rather us be completely vulnerable as our leaders are inciting us into a war. A United Nations committee has come down hard on the U.S. for gun violence, criticizing the extreme domestic habits of Americans, including the upholding of the Second Amendment. A committee member was stating cited staggering figures to argue in favor of eliminating the right to own guns, saying 470,000 crimes committed with firearms each year, including about 11,000 homicides. But what the U.N. failed to report is how many times guns were used by law-abiding citizens to protect themselves. According to a Gun Owners of America fact sheet, guns were used two and a half million times a year in self-defense. And that doesn't even mean that they were even showed. Some people just said, I have a gun, and that was enough to protect them against crime. Now, according to research conducted by Dr. Gary Kleck, that means about 6,850 times a day people were using guns in self-defense. They were able to protect themselves. But this is something, these are figures, these are actual factual figures that you're not going to be hearing about because the government doesn't want its citizens to be empowered, especially as they wreck our economy, send it crashing down and provoke wars by poking sticks at bears. And then, of course, send drones into their country again to the surveil them. But that's a good question. Why isn't the UN coming after Obama for all of his drone activity? He's killed, said he's very good at killing innocent civilians in countries that we're not even at war with. And now the Pentagon is insisting they want even more money for more drones. And this time, they want underwater drones. Now they are pushing for $30 million a year for the Hydra program, which is basically going to litter the seafloor with these underwater drones. The Hydra program will be based in shallow coastal waters. And then there's another program that DARPA wants a 59% increase in spending to almost $19 million a year for its upward falling payloads program. These will develop, uh, non, they're gonna provide non-lethal effects or situational awareness over large portions of the ocean. Almost 50% of the ocean floor will basically have these surveillance drones all over them. So here we see that this planet has been taken over by complete psychopaths, if they haven't been complete psychopaths controlling the planet the entire time. But case in point, we have all of these fake feminists running around saying they want to ban the word bossy and empower women. Meanwhile, in Iraq, Muslim women there are facing even more atrocity, even more oppression, and you're not hearing any slick PSAs to help these women. The Iraqi parliament is considering a new law that would legalize rape and forbid women to leave the house without their husband's permission. Now, this law, which has already been denounced by Human Rights Watch as a violation of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, this would also, this law will also lower the age of marriage to nine years old for girls. But where is Beyonce with her slick PSA to call out against the 10 million Shia Iraqi women who are going to be Come slaves, basic slaves, including these nine-year-old little girls. You know, no one's calling them bossy, I, I bet, because they are slaves. But that they're not going to do that because it's not going to push the agenda of cultural Marxism. It's not going to break down the family. It's not going to convince women that they don't need men and they need to divorce their men and marry the state because the state is God. This is what they want to do is break down tradition and convince people that it's our language and our culture that's pushing this oppression, keep us fighting a, a race war and a gender war and fighting amongst ourselves so that we never fight against the true oppressor, the state. <sighs> Coming up after this break, Jakari Jackson is going to break that down even further. He is going to expose how the KKK and the Democratic Party has played a huge role in 
systematically killing minorities via Planned Parenthood. And that is a shocking report. We've, we're going to go ahead and just blow it out, expose this for what it is. And then David Knight will have another special report talking about CIA mind control. You're not going to want to miss that. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. Celebrate the spirit of 1776 with the George Washington brass belt buckle or this incredibly sharp looking 1776 hat. Badass. And be sure to check out the new arrivals at InfoWars Life, where you can prepare your body to perform at peak levels with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine, Super Male Vitality, and Fluoride Shield. And wake up, America. Immune Support Blend is the healthy choice for the gourmet coffee lover. So get incredibly high-quality, freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. It makes you realize that if there's even one thing we can do to keep our children and our communities safe, there's just one step we can take to prevent more families from feeling what they feel uh, after they've lost a loved one. In 2012, there were more blacks aborted in New York City than born, which is to say, while people will march up and down the streets for high-profile slayings, many of those same people don't seem to care that the biggest scourge to their communities isn't gangs or drugs, but the right to choose. Equally chilling is that over 50% of aborted babies in Georgia are black. One of the most visible processors of abortion is Planned Parenthood, which was once known as the Birth Control League, a Margaret Sanger organization. Eugenics movement was once again used by the American Birth Control League. The Margaret Sangers of those days did not come out and say they were trying to eliminate black people. What they did say, they were trying to rid society of the feeble-minded. They were trying to rid the society of the criminal, well, she was successful simply because of her eugenics friends for the past 50 years had uh, put those labels on minorities and African Americans and therefore society was more or less desensitized. In effect, the code words hid the agenda of Margaret Sanger and the eugenist. Whether you're pro-choice or not, Please be aware that the reason Planned Parenthood buildings are so prevalent in minority neighborhoods is to kill minorities. Don't put it on the taxpayer, okay? I don't wish to pay for the baby with my money. You would rather profit off of those children? No, 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 I'm not profiting. I, as a taxpayer, do not wish to pay for those babies to be born and brought up and kill those do? people in Colorado. Go ahead and pay for we that. Do. Let me see you adopt.